Getting your book into the Kindle store is easy. You don't need to pay any intermediaries to do it, and usually when you do, they'll charge a fee, whether it's a percentage of your royalties or a flat fee up front. So I always recommend that people try it themselves first. The first step is to find the Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing Store. So I'm going to pretend I don't already have an account. Read and agree to the Kindle Direct Publishing Terms of Service. Getting your book into the bookshelf is really simple. Simply press Start. You'll first want to choose whether to enroll your book in KDP Select. This means you're giving the Kindle exclusive power to sell your book. You can't sell it anywhere else online, however, you do get certain perks from the Amazon process if you choose this route. Next, enter your book details. Again, your book description should, should include the search terms that you put in your book info in the metadata. You definitely want to credit your contributors and collaborators by adding them here. If you have an ISBN, enter it here. You don't need an ISBN to publish on the Amazon Kindle store. Verify that you have the legal right to publish the work you're putting on the Amazon Kindle store. And then make sure to find the correct category for your book. Again, this is key to searchability. You want to be as specific as possible. You don't need to specify an age range for your book, but you can. Again, enter keywords for your book that people might be searching for to find it or similar books or books on similar subjects or in similar genres. You can even make your book available for pre-order. Now here is where you upload your book cover. Don't forget to save frequently. Even though this is already part of your ebook file, it's uploaded separately in order to go in the store as the thumbnail. Upload your book file. You'll want to upload the Mobi file that you got from the Pressbooks export here. It may take a few moments to upload. You can continue while this finishes. The next step is to decide where you want your book to be published. You can decide on how much of a royalty you want to make from each book. This will also depend on your price point. So, for instance, if you select a 35% royalty, then you can price your book between $0.99 cents and $200. If you select the 70% royalty, you have to price your book between $2.99 and $9.99. You can also decide what royalty to charge in different countries. Decide whether to include your book in Kindle Matchbook and Kindle Book Lending. You're not really done until you click Save and Publish, so for now, I'm going to save as a draft because I'm not quite ready to do that. Next, you might want to research the benefits and drawbacks of enrolling in Kindle Direct Select. This is an option to you, not something that is mandatory. Now, the other thing you need to do before you're able to publish your book is give the Kindle store your banking information. This is where you enter your or your company name as the publisher, enter your address, typically the one you use for banking, you do need to complete your tax information. 
The other thing you'll need to do is add a bank account. And again, Amazon will walk you through a step-by-step -step process to enter the information they need. Make sure to save and go back to Bookshelf. Click on your book, which is still in draft status. Once you're at the end of step two and you've entered your banking and tax information, you can then press save and publish. Then it will usually take about 48 hours for someone from Kindle to review your book and make sure there are no errors. You can still make changes until you click publish. And in fact, you can always replace your book if you make changes later. 